Customers at McDonald's near Downing Street had to be protected by police this afternoon as vegan protesters vented their anger at the chain. They were taking part in a march to promote a vegan, animal-free lifestyle, which continues to grow in London at a rate believed to be faster than any other city in Europe. Here's Jim Weeble. London is at the centre of a vegan boom a way of life using no animal products from food to clothes to literally everything. But it isn't just a lifestyle choice. For many, it's rooted in animal rights activism. 56 billion animals are slaughtered every year just for food alone. We believe in a lifestyle of least harm. And so animal liberation, uh, not consuming them, not using their products. At the last recognised count in 2016, around half a million... A recent estimate has now put that at three and a half million. It's sort of about twenty percent of vegans in the UK live in London, and the capital has now become one of the leading places in Europe for veganism, from vegan restaurants, vegan pubs, to even a vegan donut shop. But there has been criticism about the movement, meat shaming people into their view. These customers at this fast food chain on Whitehall were under no illusions about that, protected by a line of police. The people have the right to do what they want to do, personal choice. Not when the animal, not when the animal is, have lost their rights and their personal choice. But you forcing your ideas down someone else's throat. I've had my yeah. animals forcing their ideas with brainwashing from the beginning to, to just eat meat. For those looking on, some agree, some don't. If you want to eat meat, you want to eat meat, if you want to eat veg, you want to eat veg. But you shouldn't have people telling you what to do. It's not really made me feel guilty for eating meat. It's just, I like meat. I like chicken. I like cows. Whether it's something we should all aspire to, I probably agree with all. But you haven't though. Not yet. But, um, but that's just the way I've been living so far. But it's made me think. One thing is beyond doubt. With 100 plus vegan restaurants in the capital, it's a way of life that's growing and here to stay. Jim Weeble, BBC London News. Lawyers.